219 for hash browns. Pigeon food went up. Yeah, pigeon food went way up. Inflation. Thank you, Joe Biden. Anyways, we're gonna, I think we're going to grab three of the hash browns. That will be an easy uh, meal for the pigeons. Break it up. Yeah, can I get three hash browns, please? Okay. No, sir. Pigeon food went up quite a bit. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. All right, thank you. All right, here's our pigeon bait for the day. And we're gonna do a little recon. It is really nasty here. It's hitting about 35 knots and it's supposed to rain three inches today, but uh, we're gonna do a little drive through through the parking lot and see uh, see where they're hiding. Gotta play the wind here, because uh, they're definitely gonna be hiding out of it, but they're gonna be hungry. A little later in the year when it gets really cold, these things are no problem to catch because they really want to get to that food. When it's a little warmer in the summer, they're a little harder to catch. But we're not, we're, we're mid-season here. Just gonna start getting good for pigeon trapping. Oh, there's some quarry right there. Look at here. You see them up there? They're all hiding out there, getting out of the wind. They're all on the north side of the building. Got a heavy southeast wind blowing, so they're all hiding out of the weather. There's some. We're going to we'll go back there and give them a shot here. Combat pigeon hunting. Combat <laughs> pigeon hunting. <laughs> At least they can see us here. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> so what's the technique here? Well, the technique is get them over here. Hopefully we don't fill the truck with rain. This is a company truck from Hamilton. But uh, we're going to try to see if we can get them baited up. They're not wanting to move very much. Oh, here we go. Here we go, let's see what happens here. Oh yeah. See what happens here. You don't want to throw too much food out here because these are seven dollars. We're gonna make them last here. See how gamey they are. So the key is put the food in the center of your hand. And then when they wrap their fingers around your, or they wrap their uh, toes around your fingers, you just close your hand. We'll get them baited up here on the car somehow. <clears throat> and that one already had two bites and he's already drinking water. That'll tell you something about McDonald's food. Why do you have to get the pigeon trap? Oh, look at here. There's a brave one. Look at No, you want it. Come on. One small step, buddy. Oh, gone it. That was a near miss. <laughs> near miss. Yeah. Uh-oh. Eagle must have flown by. Just lost our flock. Yeah. It scares them. An eagle flies by. Boy, they get off the ground in a hurry. We might not have enough food for this. I have to reload? Oh, yeah. I want to find a cheaper place to oh. reload. Maybe go out to Walmart and get some grain or something. Because the pigeon season is just now getting started. So if we go buy a 25 pound bag of cracked grain or something, then we got, we'll fire up the pigeon trap later on when it gets colder. Then we can catch 30 or 40 of these things at a time. Go have a good shoot with them. Yeah. Oh, there it is. It's a 
hard to do one handed. Alright, we're just gonna hang on to him. Here we go. Number two coming up. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Just eyeballing you. Mm -hmm. Got one on top of the roof. I know. This old lady's probably gonna lose her shit if she sees me catching it. Well, she turned away. She doesn't want to see. It's number two. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta get enough for a meal here. They're getting hungry. They're, they're getting braver. I just want to explain that uh, this is an invasive species and this is totally legal and legit. Um, I've already called the Alaska State Troopers and uh, as long as we're not out here shooting them. Um, with any kind of air rifle or, or uh, actually in town, then this is totally legit. Um, I actually built a net gun to catch them. Uh, me and my boys have been doing this for years. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, we take them out, train our dogs with them, but we don't waste them. We always uh, eat them. And uh, pigeon or rock dove is their actually named is one of the most common eaten birds in the world. Um, they've got 30, 33 percent meat per body ratio. Um, actually, there's other people in town here that feed these lots of grain. So when you when we uh, dispatch of these pigeons and we're processing them, they're gonna have a lot of grain in them. They're just not gonna be all McDonald's food, or I probably would change my mind a little bit about eating them. But they are a really good eating, and they're a really good uh, source of protein. I know where my meat comes from. Like I always say, know where your meat comes from. Enjoy friends and family. And here we are. Uh, pigeon hunting, kind of, in a way. Uh, on a day off. Be nice to get four. At least we'd have a good little meal. And get our seven bucks. Seven bucks back. The price of meat anymore these days is insane. I'm glad I hunt. I'm glad I know where my meat comes from. You might have got the only two dumb ones. That wind is howling. Yeah. Okay, we found a little more quarry down by the post office. See what happens here. Oh yeah, they're hungry. See what happens here. All right, we dispatched the pigeons real quick, but uh, everything's gotta die to where you can eat it, right? It's pretty hard to eat while it's still kicking. So we're gonna take the breast meat out of this. We're gonna take the legs off of them and we're gonna fry them up real quick and have them with some eggs this morning for breakfast or mid-lunch. But what you wanna do is just take some of these feathers off We should have had a few more, but it was pretty nasty out there and they weren't wanting to cooperate very much with all the heavy wind. It would have been a lot better with the live pigeon trap. But... We'll have to get that out later and I'll send a little short video with this clip about uh, how we dispatch of them when we use the pigeon trap because you get multiple so you get to have a little fun with your family and your dog and work them and take them out and use them as a uh, live live pigeon shooting range it's like a sporting clay it's a lot of fun so all you're going to do is you're just going to pop these medallions out of here little nuggets Stay close to the bone.
not a lot of meat in the legs, but I'm gonna kill it, might as well eat it. So everybody says the pigeons eat nothing but trash and everything else. Well, they're full of grain. See, you know, this, there's a lot of people in town that feed them. And there's sunflower seeds in here. There's grain. There's corn. There's actually the McDonald's food that we were feeding them. But there's actually a lot of a lot of nutrient food in here. And these, fit, these uh, pigeons are nice and fat. And they've got nice, clean protein. It's good stuff. All right, so this is what the finished product looks of the bear fat. They're all sealed up. Um, it's just compressed lid. It's not even a real seal. And I just store them in the fridge. But this is what we're going to be um, frying our pigeon in today. But it's just bear lard rendered down. And you'll see it in the other video. All right, so here's the nuggets, the breast nuggets, and the legs off of the pigeons we caught today. Uh, if we used the trap today, we'd have been a lot more successful, but Chris wanted to see me catch them with my bare hands, so um, that's what we did. Anyways, it's a little entertainment for a Sunday morning in the storm. Um, we're gonna finish this, have breakfast, so late breakfast, then we're gonna go right to making a halibut ceviche, so. Uh, stay tuned for that video also. So, in this mixture, I know this is a little out of flour in the freezer, uh, but I had this in the freezer. This is a pre made fish uh, mix, and all it is is uh, a little Tony Sassery's Creole seasoning, some garlic, some flour, and some Johnny's seasoning. And it's just seasoned to your liking. Some people like it a little saltier, but uh, I recommend. Uh, this is a small bag. I usually do it in a gallon Ziploc bag. Do my fish and then I put it right back in the freezer. That way it uh, doesn't contaminate and you can keep reusing it until it's gone. But so what we're going to do is we're just going to throw these chunks of pigeon, squab, rock dove, whatever you want to call it. It goes by lots of different names. I'm going to throw it in here. And it rolling around in the seasoned flour. I gotta go back to the store and get some flour. But not now. <clears throat> okay, we're just gonna let those sit, keep shaking them. This is that bear lard. We're gonna fry our pigeons in it. I fry all my game in it. Do a little bit for our eggs. Okay, our bear lard is nice and warm. Let's throw our meat in here. It's browned on one side, we're just going to flip it here. Brown it on the other side, and then we're going to start preparing everything else. Alright, so uh, I took the, the medallions, they're all done in here, and I just threw in some onions. Since there wasn't enough and there's three people to feed and we didn't, uh, or you didn't really kill a bunch of them or catch a bunch of them today, um, I decided to change it up and we're going to make sourdough toast and have some avocado sauteed onions on it, slice the pigeon breast up and have it on a, with some egg on a sandwich. So with that said, here we go, I got an egg frying, broke the yolk. Gonna season it with some Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. I use it a lot. It's great on seafood. It's great. I uh, just our family eats a lot of this Tony Sachery Creole seasoning. So 
black pepper. That egg's just about ready to go. We're gonna start assembling this here shortly. Alright guys, well, it was a fun uh, Sunday morning hanging out with friends and uh, we didn't get quite enough pigeons without using the pigeon trap. We just tried to catch them by hand, had a little fun with it, but uh, know where your meat comes from, you know, enjoy friends and family in the outdoors, don't be able to be afraid to try new things. A lot of people uh, turn their nose up at me when I say, man, pigeons phenomenal eating. It's one of the most common birds eaten around the world. It's a high, high source of protein and uh, tastes really great. We didn't have enough to do just a pigeon fry, so we turned them into some breakfast sandwiches and uh, gonna enjoy this meal and then start on some halibut ceviche for my crew. Uh, the guys are really bugging me to make some, so day off, I'm gonna do it. So Monday morning at lunch, we'll have a good ceviche food. Uh, know where your meat comes from, whack them and stack them. Work. Here we go. How's that uh, McDonald's Safeway parking lot pigeon? It's pretty good stuff, huh? Best McDonald's hash brown I've ever had. Alright.